Space! And as we are going back to space, this seemed like a really good opportunity to use some of our, uh, our new Space Toaster 4000s. So we're going to have two of those built into these cabinets right here. Uh, we've got one of them basically done, still waiting on a couple of uh, switches for the second one. So we can go take a closer look at that and how we're doing the install on those, and uh, I'll see you down there. So I think in the actual Space Toaster video commercial thing that we did, we didn't really show you too much of what they look like inside. So this is one pretty much together. Uh, you can kind of see here that it's got uh, discrete uh, slot buildups that we can add more, remove some. Uh, four is a pretty good number. Uh, just as far as the space goes, huh, space. So that'll be coming in here. We've got it mounted on that, uh, it's a 15 degree angle. Just gets more interesting than things coming straight in and straight down. Uh, it's just kind of adds some dynamism to the geometry. So that will go in here. This will of course all be painted up. Um, we'll have our, uh, the, the gray dark PVC plate uh, over top of this, which we're gonna cut out pretty soon once the uh, CNC has been freed up. Uh, the new Space Toasters obviously have sound, and that sound is huge. Uh, recently, we were showing these off to uh, the client came to visit, and we were showing them the Space Toaster, and uh, I had to borrow the sound card from our prototype one for another job, and I haven't gotten a new one into this yet, and that just having the light is really cool. Having the light and the sound, it really just makes it that much more immersive and compelling and cool. So this one needs to have speakers. Um, unlike the prototype where we had the speakers on the side, we can't do that here because there's really no side. So we're gonna have our back panel right here. We're gonna have our speakers, uh, our speaker slots milled into there. So the wires will just go through the back. We're gonna have our speaker one, maybe two. Um, it's all mono sound anyway, so I think one will be fine. So we'll have that speaker right there and uh, it'll, it'll make cool sounds while it makes cool lights. And, uh, and that's cool. So here is the uh, the new version of the space key. So instead of being on those old uh, the four pin connectors that players really were good at breaking, uh, and the the quote scoop proof ones are kind of the the mil spec. Those are like 80 bucks per connector. So that didn't really make that a viable option to be making uh, you know half dozen keys per game, and then you need backups. Uh, that just kind of adds up to a lot of expense very quickly. So we found these odd audio connectors. They're uh, 7.2 millimeter or something like that. I'll get an actual measurement on those. And uh, it's proof of concept here, the code still needs a little work. You put them in there, it goes through a scanning sequence as an animation, and then this is the purple key. So if you put the purple key in the lock that needed the purple key, it would do something. Um, and this one is, I don't know, orange. Yes, that was a surprise to me because they all do look alike, uh, which leaves the blue one, what I have. And the way I've got these working is each one has a NeoPixel and a specific resistor built into the key. Uh, so when it goes in there, uh, based on which resistor it, uh, is, is in there, it does uh, goes to a voltage divider, analog read from that, and the, uh, the Arduino knows which key it is and then tells the NeoPixel to light up its appropriate color. And then in the code, other stuff will happen. Just a very simple breadboard right here now for uh, proof of concept and prototyping, but I'm working on an actual PCB that's going to have uh, sound and all that, and it'll have some dip, some dip switches on there, so you can actually tell it in binary, this is key number six or seven or whatever, um, and then that lock will then be looking for that key to do its, its uh, special thing. Uh, as far as sound, I'm also going to be playing with some uh, piezoelectric buzzers just to keep everything much more compact and simple and not need speakers and sound cards on everything, because this is gonna be a very simple kind of beep, beep, boop type uh, audio interface, but it still gives you that little bit of audio that makes the uh, puzzle that much more immersive. While Matt's working on that, we're going to go ahead and start putting texture panels and greeblies and stuff like that all over these, these uh, towers, and then they will be moved into paint, and, and uh, we'll do some painting after that. Uh, we've got a friend in from Switzerland right now, uh, Thomas, is uh, helping us out this week. It's kind of nice. He just flew in from Switzerland to work with us for free. Let's go. We 
We've made some new Greebly molds because, again, we're changing the style of everything. Uh, we cut apart uh, an old uh, a fan clutch, which has parts in it like this. They have these really cool heat sinks and stuff. And, uh, and we made molds of these parts. They look something like this. Through those, we're getting cast parts like this. Now, this is just happens to be, again, scrap. So it's two different colors uh, of resin. But we looked at this and realized that we could backlight this and possibly do a spinning Neo pixel behind it. Uh, so that'll be cool. That'll end up somewhere. Also, uh, we made a mold that had a bunch of these chicken head switches uh, of different shapes and sizes. Uh, and again, some other smaller greeblies that I haven't shown you yet, but you'll see those as the build goes forward. So we've got paint going already, uh, and uh, we've got these black center doors in place, and that's pretty cool. And look, space key. <laughs> Space key. This is not easy. I should not have attempted this. This is a bad idea. Space key. Feet. We are going to talk next about Greeblies and spaceship styling and different ways that those things can be accomplished. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you some other stuff that we haven't showed you before, and that's always nice. Make sure you push the likey if you liked it, and uh, push subscribe if you haven't, because why the hell didn't you? What's wrong with you? I'm just going to sweat on camera here now and just get used to it. Eventually, you'll, you'll get comfortable with this whole thing. And... Yeah. How about now? Space, 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 space